impressions that come, so many influences, and I just want to do the right thing. But I, I haven't really exposed myself to as many different cultures as I'd like to, you know, and in trying to enrich myself. I feel like I, I really need to get out and travel more. I need to go go exotic places, not just to Hoboken or you know those other places that that I've been. You know, I went to college in Hoboken, uh, but I decided Egypt, the Middle East. What a peaceful, lovely place to go. And so I decided. <laughs> <laughs> There was an association with the camels <laughs> and the pyramids. That's what drew me there. And I decided that I was going to take this a one-way trip until I quit smoking. So here I am, underneath the camel, resting, <laughs> relaxing, <laughs> and hoping that no one finds out, finds out that I also brought my pet gerbil. It was tough on the airline because he was scratching and scratching around in my pocket. And, I thought, and they're kind of funny in this country about gerbils. There's something about small furry things they don't like very much. I, I don't really know. It must be a religious thing. I don't know. <laughs> Being that said, I, I went ahead and held my gerbil beside me. And underneath the camel, I had my gerbil and I decided to pray to the one God of <sighs> gerbils. <laughs> As I was praying, I had a stronger and stronger and stronger desire to smoke. So I got in my back pocket and I whipped out my handy pacifier. It's the only thing that works for me when I am not smoking. So I started to uh, put my little pacifier in my mouth and realized that my gerbil had nothing to do sitting in my pocket. <laughs> and you have no idea how much damage that can do if you leave a gerbil alone in your pocket. <laughs> Can't. So I took out my pacifier and let the gerbil start to use the pacifier. It's really good because you can't smoke. At all. And when I noticed that he was like chewing on it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. The, I, the only way to take care of this is to pray on top of the pyramid. But I was still underneath that camel. And that little pacifier and that squeaky noise that the gerbil making was starting to really irritate that mm -hmm. animal. So I just decided that I had to... Let the camel step on my gerbil. It was the only 